Welcome back to Nutty Education and on this episode I'm going to explain to you the truth about ego. See, majority of people they fundamentally misunderstand ego. Majority of people if they were to give you advice about ego they would say that ego is bad. They would say ego is toxic, ego holds you back. They'll say all these negative things about ego and they'll encourage you to destroy your ego, to drop your ego, to forget your ego. But this is wrong. This is not all there is to ego. Ego is a coin with two sides. There's a good side to ego and there's a bad side to ego. Pros and cons advantages and disadvantages now a bad side of ego would be let's say hypothetically a guy offered you a grand as prize money to fight a lion and you had a big ego and you thought you could beat up anyone and then you accepted that offer and then the lion kills you. That is an example of how ego can blind you. How ego could be toxic and bad for you. But there is a whole other side to ego that people forget exists. And that is the good side of ego. The good side of ego is it can act like a shield that protects you. And an example of that would be let's take me for example I am someone with a big ego I think highly of myself I am also someone who gets constant endless never-ending verbal abuse on social media they tell me to die they tell me to kill myself they call me ugly they tell me to quit that my music is trash they say all these bad things about me, but none of it affects me. Literally, it has zero effect whatsoever. I literally do not give a shit. And the reason for that is because I have a big ego. So in that circumstance, we can view it as, imagine all those hate comments being bullets Imagine they're all bullets being fired at me. Now my big ego acts as a shield. It acts like a Captain America shield or like a suit of armour. And all those bullets, all those hate comments, they all get deflected. And my big ego, it protects me. And if I didn't have that big ego, I might listen to those comments. I might feel bad about myself. I might kill myself. So that is an example of how ego can be good and can have positive effects. Another thing to add in, that point about ego acting as a shield, that is not the only good point about ego. There are many other good effects from having a big ego. For example, if you have an ego and you think you're the best and you're always telling yourself in your head that you're the best, you will feel good about yourself. You will wake up and feel good about you. You will love yourself. You will feel positive. So there are many different good effects from having an ego, not just acting like a shield. So. Now that we know ego is a coin with two sides, good and bad, all we have to do is train our mind to harness ego. We have to harness it and control it and not let it control us. We have to absorb and harness and use and channel the good effects of ego whilst making sure we discard any bad sides of ego, any bad effects of it. Absorb the good effects, discard the bad effects. So there is a golden rule, a rule of thumb that I have come up with 
that will help you harness the ego and that rule of thumb is simply this it's one sentence you just got to remember one sentence and if you actually take it on board and listen to it it will help you and that sentence is this having a big ego is not only not bad but it is actually good just as long as you don't let it affect how you treat other people that is the important golden rule of thumb if you follow that you'll be good because think about it this way if you think highly of yourself if you have a big ego if you love yourself that is good that is a good thing you should think positive about yourself just don't let it affect how you treat others and there should be no problem with that so think highly of yourself think you're the best tell yourself you're the best have that image of yourself in your head but when you talk to others be respectful treat them with kindness treat them good as long as you can keep that balance having a big ego is good I would argue it should be encouraged because think of this you should always have a big ego and love yourself instead of having a low self-esteem and hating yourself if you had the choice choose a big ego and love yourself or choose low self-esteem and hate yourself always choose the big ego so have a big ego think you're the best but still treat others with respect and kindness that is basically me that is what I do I have a big ego I think I'm the best I love myself all of that however when I see people I always treat them with respect I always be kind to them I don't treat them like mugs if they try and mug me off if they try and hurt me if they try and rip me off or do something bad to me then cool then I'll be bad to them and give them what they deserve but until that happens by default as a default setting I am kind to people unless they give me a reason not to be so I have a big ego but I still treat others with kindness that's your golden rule of thumb have a big ego but don't let it affect how you treat other people if you can follow that you're all good harness ego use the good side of it discard the bad side which would be blinding you to the point it puts you in danger or it makes you toxic etc etc and that's it but there's my episode of nutty education for the day follow me or subscribe to me for more i'm nutty jun the new jesus the savior of mankind this is my mission to stop this to save the world and i will do that so with that being said peace out bitch